Hello everyone, welcome along to this very quick, uh, what, what do we call it, a webcast, a webinar. And it's just really about making sure that everyone understands what the benefits are to membership of Engineers Ireland. My name is Kevin Revan, I'm just going to talk to you for probably 15-20 minutes maximum, just having a look up at the clock there. Um, and I just want to make sure that everyone really understands what it is we do, what we can offer you, and then from there then you can decide if it's something that you want to pursue. So, let's get stuck in. Essentially, these are the, uh, the main things to keep in mind, that we have 24,000 members. We've been around for 180 years, 182 years to be exact. And what that means is that over that time, we've kind of learned how to, you know, how to kind of bring engineers together, how to create these networking events, as it were. We're also responsible, um, actually, I'll get into the responsibilities in, in a second, what we're actually responsible for. But we do the professional titles here in Ireland as well. So if you want to become a chartered engineer or an associate engineer or even a technician or uh, a fellow eventually, then they're legally protected by law. And we're the only ones who can give those out. And really what a chartered engineer is, it's, it's like shorthand for, uh, for your CV or for your career to say you've reached a certain level of, uh, of competency, if you like, in your, in, your, um, in your abilities as an engineer, regardless of what the discipline is. So I'll talk a little bit about what, why you should actually think about joining Engineers Ireland. Now, regardless whether you are, what, it doesn't matter what stage of your career you're at, whether it is uh, you're a student, whether you're thinking about getting into engineering, if you're like, you know, secondary school kid, um, or if you're just at the beginning of your career, the early career, mid, retired, um, or even if you're an employer. What we do at every stage is we have different elements or different things that we can offer to people as we go through our, or as you go through your career. So we'll talk a little bit about each of them um, as we go through this. Um, how to actually join? Well, there's a few different ways, like I said, that you can join. You can join as a student. Um, if you're a full-time student, it is free. And I think, I believe we're working on a way to get um, postgraduate students in as well for free. Um, you can join as a technician or as a standard member. And then the registered titles then are engineering technician, associate engineer, chartered engineer, or a fellow. The one of the things to keep in mind as well is that when it comes to your qualification, because I know from the email that I sent out inviting everybody to this here this evening, uh, it went to people all over the world and people, hundreds of people came back to me saying, well, I've got a qualification from this particular university. I did it this year, didn't quite finish my degree, but I've got 15 years experience. Everybody is coming from lots of different angles at this. And that's, that's just the nature of the beast, if you like. That's just the way it goes because you're never going to get everyone coming from you know an accredited four-year uh, degree in exactly engineering you always get different elements that need to be taken care of and that's basically what myself what i do here uh, and the team the membership team do we, we process all of you and we kind of we walk you through the process regardless of what stage you're at but what you're seeing there on screen at the moment is the it's a different uh, organizations if you like that we have we have bilateral agreements with a lot of these, with all those you see on screen there actually. And what that means is that if you are coming from one of those that you see on screen and you want to join us, it's a lot easier. And vice versa, if you're a member here and you want to travel to, I don't know, Hong Kong or uh, Australia or anywhere like that or the UK, your membership can travel with you very, very easily. It works like an, an international passport is the best way of doing it. There's essentially three steps if you want to become a member of Engineers Ireland. There's the application form, which is on the website, it's fairly straightforward proof of your qualification so the way that works is that you would either send in the original parchment that you got from your primary degree you post it into us uh, we take a photocopy of it and we send you the original back most people some people don't really want to do that which is fair enough so what we would suggest you do is you get a certified copy so a certified copy can be from um, another chartered engineer so somebody who is a chartered engineer, a member of Engineers Ireland, you photocopy it, they, they sign it, say yes, this is an official photocopy, and you send us that photocopy, and that's usually enough. And then the membership fees, it depends on what stage you're at. Like I said, students are free. Um, first year graduates, so if you're first year out of college, out of your primary degree, it's 66 euro, 25 cent. That's a 75% discount. Then year two is a 50% discount, year three is a 25% discount. And then year four, you pay full price, which is 265 euro, for the year the application process like i said there's lots of different angles or lots of different ways that people come at this and because of that we have all these other routes to membership as well and again that's that's my job to figure out for you what the best route is in order for you to give you a clear path to either chartered or to associate or whatever it is that you're looking to do with your with your uh, membership 
when you get uh, to members to uh, be, when you when you get your membership i should say to engineers ireland you get a card um, a membership card and a certificate as well and when you log in for the first time you'll see your profile now i'm just pointing up at the big screen here i don't think everyone uh, watching online can actually see the big screen but um what you can see on your screen there at home is what you get in your membership profile so you get all the useful links down the left hand side uh, you, you get to build your own personal profile that you can then make available to employers if that's something that you wish to do and uh, there's lots of different things in there lots of different things that are not available for people who are, are non-members um, not surprisingly we also have groups so we have uh, regions divisions and societies these are for people who are all over the country and um, they don't necessarily want to travel to Clyde Road which is where we are right now where I am right now uh, to just to go to an event so what we'll do is we'll host things online like this or we'll put things on in your region, right? So all the different regions, and you can sign up for whatever region that you want to sign up for. And what that means is that you'll then get information uh, about that region from your discipline, from the society that you want to be part of. So if you're a civil engineer in Cork, then you would uh, sign up for the for the relevant div uh, the relevant region and society. Um, okay, so that's that's just more there about the groups. I'll skip that real quick. We also have um, on our website the latest news and events that are happening. So all of the things that are happening, and believe me, there are hundreds of things happening all around the country. For example, just <laughs> just before we started here, I saw on the notice board that there is a, uh, a CPD trip, right? Or a CPD visit, that's continu continuous professional development. And it's to a company called Indiver, which funnily enough is where my sister works. I'm gonna have to ask her about that and see, does she know anything about that? <laughs> Um, she's fairly high up in there so she might know something about it just thought that was interesting so th those things are on all the time those kinds of uh, visits to you know cutting edge uh, uh, technology factories or going and seeing what's happening in your industry all those kinds of things that you're continuously developing as an engineer really what we do is we facilitate those meetings to happen and here in Clyde Road as well where I am at the moment is a 130 seater auditorium and we put on events here as well there's a bar <laughs> there's a tea and coffee and um, all those things are put on for people when they come to events here we've got our engineers ireland tv which again is more the same it's more stuff and uh, more stuff for you to consume about engineering and really what that does is it kind of keeps you informed about what's actually happening in your career we've got a webcast archive which is where this particular webcast will go now when we're finished and uh, there's like it says there on screen there's 700 presentations and counting you can actually see a picture there uh, of where i'm standing at the moment the engineer's journal comes out every two weeks and i find this to be a fascinating read i'm signed up to it um, i i i love it i i think it's really um some really great stuff written in there lots of lots of different angles or lots of different approaches i suppose to the engineering profession from both professionals and retired members and people who are working on really interesting projects and that's all included for our members as well the EBSCO da database, so if you want to look up um, reports and research, there's by signing up to Engineers Ireland, you automatically get ac access to that as well. And um, there is a wealth of information in there on all sorts of different disciplines of engineering. The CPD training calendar, one thing to keep in mind actually, and this is something a lot of people ask me, I know people watching at home this evening can't ask me questions right now. So uh, just to make it very clear about what CPD actually is, because a lot of the time people kind of they, they mix up or they kind of assume that it's just official training and it isn't CPD is at any stage where you learn something so it could even be something as simple as having an in-depth conversation with a senior member of your of your staff where they tell you something you didn't know and it turns out to be okay that's that's something that's improved my my engineering knowledge or my engineering ability and really what that means then is that you can all, all that has to happen is that it's self-driven it's self it's self-directed if you like you go and you record the, the time stamp, the, t the date and the time that it happened, what the event was, and what you learned from it, what the outcome was. So it's like I said, it couldn't be a conversation with a colleague. It can be a, uh, couldn't, this, this counts as CPD here this evening. You could have um, the site visits that are organized, those kinds of things. And it can be online or offline training. Anything that improves your knowledge as an engineer counts as CPD. E-learning as well, so one of the key things, and, I, and I've spoken to a few companies lately, lately about what they're looking for in their engineers, one of the things that they say they're looking for is the soft skills. So technical skills, of course, of course you have to have the technical ability, but if you're really looking to be promoted and looking to um, you know, move forward in your career, you're going to need the soft skills to go along with that. You're going to need the ability to communicate, the ability to influence, the ability to persuade, 
um, the ability to stay calm, all those things matter. And they're the kinds of things that um, our, our online courses will, will give you a good insight into. It's those complementary skills that um, are necessary for, for anyone really. Uh, a lot of them are complementary and some are uh, available to purchase then as well. Um, I've, I've kind of touched on that already. Um, one of the things that's very important here as well is the CPD for the employer. What we do is we'll go out to companies and we'll guide them, give them guidelines and uh, audit them on their, their processes and policies at present and we'll tell them what they can do to kind of improve their processes and policies based on best practice and they get CPD accredited. So if you're an employer and you're thinking about you know getting a badge of honour or kind of getting you know a, a stamp of excellence if you like then the CPD could be for you because th again it's it's almost like when we offer chartered uh, status to an, en an engineer that's accreditation for the individual whereas what you're looking at there on screen the CPD accredited employer standard that's accreditation for the company so usually what will happen is that we'll go into a company and uh, say the CPD team will go into the company and they'll accredit the company and then we'll come in afterwards and we'll accredit all the individual engineers who want to be accredited so those who want to move to chartered or those who want to just become a, a, a member of, of engineers ireland the steps program is very interesting the steps program is essentially an opportunity for all engineers to go back to their secondary schools and to their primary schools and even to the co their colleges that they went to and inspire the next generation i went to nuig last friday and i met with uh, 14 or 15 fourth year students, so fourth year students had literally just finished their exams the day before. Uh, they were all a bit delicate. <laughs> um, but they all stayed to come and talk to me, which was very nice. Um, but what one of the things that they flagged to me is that a couple of things that they'd love to be able to do is shadow engineers in their job, even for half a day. So as an appeal to all of you out there, if that is something that you think you could offer to students, it's something we'd love to facilitate again as well. It's to just bring even first year students in and show them, look, all the, all the work that you're going through at the moment, it all leads to this. You get to work on these cool projects. The other thing then is to, is to, is to go and give presentations. So again, that helps your presentation skills and it helps your ability to, um, to talk in front of an audience. And, to, and again, it's CPD for you as well. And it's a lot of engineers get a, get a good buzz out of it as well because it's a, um, it's a very worthwhile thing to, to inspire the next generation. So you can have a look at our steps program, you can get involved with that in any way you like. We've also got our awards as well, all the things that we do to, um, to recognise our engineers. So one of the things I was looking at today was the Innovative Student of the Year Award, which is a, it's a really interesting one. So all the, all the college students, um, anywhere from first year to fourth year, can enter into the competition. And uh, some really great stuff, some really interesting uh, technology that, or ideas that people have. Um, um, and you can really see the, the, the raw engineering talent coming through. So that, that, was, that was just one I was working on today. It was interesting. You can see there on screen all the different ones that we have. Um, the, the one that a lot of people go after is the Chartered Engineer Award. Um, it's a, obviously, it's a, it's a big deal to win that one. So I am going to stop really quick. Um, if, if this was more, um, if we had more interaction here, I'd ask you for, to send me questions, but um, we can't. So here's what I'd like you to do. If you do want more information about membership here at Engineers Ireland, send an email to membership at engineersireland.ie and in the subject line just put more info and in the body of the text just tell me what exactly you're looking for so if you put more info into the subject line i'll be able to find it then right so we get a, you know hundreds of emails every week so if you put more info into the subject line i'll be able to find it and i'll get directly back to you this is my job is to do this is to help people like yourselves uh, to walk you through the process to first of all decide is engineers ireland for you and if it is what's the best way for you to join and then once you've joined, what is the path that's open to you? So is there a clear path to, to associate? Is there a clear path to, to chartered engineer? So whichever, whatever it is you're looking to do, if you just want more information about what exactly we do here at Engineers Ireland, want to go deeper or anything, I can arrange a phone call with you. I've already done it with some people who said they couldn't be here this evening. And I said, well, look, let's have a call during the week. So we'll do that. So just send an email, membership at engineersireland.ie put more info into the subject line and tell me what exactly, give me, give me a couple of lines of what exactly you're looking for and I'll talk you through it. I'm not going to talk about chartered here. Um, a couple of people had asked me to um, and I said what I'll do is I'll set up phone calls because again, it, you know, it, it, it's somewhat of an evolved, an involved process for um, becoming chartered. Um, it's not just a tick the box exercise. There is um, there's some, some forms you need to fill in and 
some thinking you need to do on your behalf. But if you do want information about Chartered or you're interested in knowing is it relevant to you or to your industry, and if you also want to find out about what we're actually doing with say the medical device industry or with the uh, pharma industry, all those kind of what I, kind of, I always kind of think of them as futuristic kind of companies, um, then, then get in touch and let me know and I'll, 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 we'll, we'll set up a phone call. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, it's quarter past seven. Go and have your tea, your dinner, whatever it is you're doing. And um, any questions, like I said, send them to members, membership, sorry, at engineersireland.e. My name is Kevin Rebhunt. You can put it for attention to me, but it's better if I just put more info into the subject line and uh, I'll be able to pick it up then. So any questions, get in touch, let me know. But that's it. All right, so thanks very much, everyone, for, uh, for coming along. And uh, hopefully I'll get to speak to you all soon. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.